You responded to Mr. McCarthy when it came, about, came about the bullet train, and you said to move forward, you have to be honest about what was promised and what it yeah. is. Can you go over well, just, specifically what it is now? I've been, I've been frustrated in the past, and many have written about this and chronicled it quite literally, not just figuratively, um, that this project has become something it never was intended to be. Um, the project is no longer a $33 billion project. The project's years and years behind. The project's wildly over budget. That doesn't mean it's a bad idea, uh, but it is a bad idea not to be truthful about things. You gotta be transparent. And I think the good news is we have a new business plan, we have a new director in Brian Kelly, uh, and we have new prioritization to phase this project. Uh, and the phasing is something that I support. And that first phase, Silicon Valley to Central Valley, uh, I think is achievable. I'm committed to it. And if we can prove the efficacy of that first phase, then I'm confident that we can invite a different conversation with the private sector to figure out a way of financing the Southern California route. Do, do you think Californians, though, kind of accept that? Kind of like we were promised one thing and then we are, we're hearing it's not going to be that thing, it's going to be this thing. Do you think Californians should accept that? I think people have the right to be frustrated anytime we fall short. And uh, folks like me need to be held to account. The difference is, though, I've been pretty transparent about my concern around this thing for years. A lot of folks, frankly, were running from having an honest conversation about this because, frankly, we were a little ideological about it. you got to be open to argument, interested in evidence. Uh, the project can still be achieved, so that is a promise we can fulfill. Uh, but let us be honest about the trade-offs uh, and let us be honest about the costs. And that's the approach I'll take. Uh, and to the extent that people reject that approach, I'll also be open to that argument uh, and reconsider and the evidence of new facts uh, whether or not to proceed uh, as is. But right now, I'm confident we can achieve that first phase goal by 2033. Uh, and I want to set that course in a much more transparent and more dynamic way.